All right. So we got five Strixhaven pre-release kits, uh, one from each school. So the way these work is they're going to have five just regular booster packs in them. Okay. One seeded pack. So it'll have cards that are the same colors as mm -hmm. school. So for Silver Quill, black and white, it'll have like black and white cards. And then we'll have a date stamped promo. Okay. That could be any color. It doesn't matter. Got it. Uh, each pack has one of the Mystical Archive alternate art cards. That's kind of what we're looking for because that's the cool stuff in the mm -hmm. set. Um, everything else is just kind of butter on top. Okay. Do these come with the die as well? Yes. And each die should have the symbol for the school on it as the 20, which is really nice. Which is the same as the... All right, cool. All right, so first promo, we have Ovida, Dean of Perfection. And this is a double face card. And the back side, can't see it. I know you're actually going to do stuff with the card so you actually take them out of the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is actually nice. It has the 2021 stamp on the side there. You can see in the corner. Yeah. And then the back. Oh, it becomes red. Yeah. So the way these work, because I know you haven't played a while, is you can cast either side of it. Okay. But it's it's this side in your hand, mm -hmm. and you can see the name and converted man cost down there. So you can cast either side while it's in your hand. It's pretty cool. So one's a genie, one's an afreeti. Or they call them gin and afreet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they started out in the last set with Kaldheim. The well, no, they started in Battle for Zendikar, the double face cards, which was super sweet. So we got five booster packs and. One seated pack. We'll start with the seated pack. Okay. I'll get some plate for this. Don't have a right. So, Silver Quill Pledge Mage. I think each one of the schools has like one of these pledge mages that have a different mage craft ability on them. Okay. And I think each pack comes with one of the campuses, which is like a guild gate for the schools. Got it. Inkling summon makes a two one, and uh, each of the schools also has like their own like token. Like Silver Quill makes Inkling tokens. Study break. Pilgrim of the Ages. Lash of Malice, Essence Infusion, Arrogant Poet, Eager First Year. Like I love the flavor of this set, just like Wizard School. Yeah. Kind of like, kind of like Harry Potter, but better. <laughs> I mean, Harry Potter's dropped off a lot since. Yeah. All that stuff happened. Humiliate. Clever Lumancer. A rare. Auric Lore Mage, and then we got a couple tokens and a thing to mark your double face cards if you don't have like sleeves. So it's like it has the regular magic back, so you can just write the names on them. Okay. Yeah. So, what does this guy actually do? Search your library for a card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle. If it's an instant sorcery, it gets a counter. That's pretty dope. Weird. Yeah, that'd be a good effect for, like, Commander. Do you want to open a pack next? Sure. Do you want to open the theme packs? Yeah, we'll just open them as, like, we open the each box. Okay. <laughs> Lorehound. It'd be interesting if they named anything more meme like if they had like humiliate and they just called it feel bad oh yeah moldering carrick 
Eureka moment, Fuming Effigy, Springmane Servin, I'm guessing. Good Elk. Looks more like a dog. <laughs> Leech Fanatic, Pilgrim of the Ages, Pop Quiz. That's weird art. Spirit Summoning. So this is a new card type called Lesson. Okay. So on the last card we had, it has an ability called Learn. So whenever you cast something with Learn, mm -hmm. you can go get a Lesson from your sideboard. Weird. And put it into your hand. Okay, so that's the Lesson tag. Yeah. Okay. Is this tag in the top left Lesson as well? Yeah, that indicates that a card's a Lesson. Okay. It's just one of those sim like den denotations that they put on the cards. Yeah. Like, so you like can thumb through it easily. Oh, this is a Lesson. Okay. Honor Troll. It's a Troll Druid. Interesting. Reduce to Memory. Returned Past Caller. Element Expressionist. Okay. For rare. That's a large effect. I don't know if you feel like reading that whole thing. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, choose a creature you control until end of turn it gains. If this creature will leave the battlefield, exile it instead and put if you, instead of putting it anywhere else, and the and when you exile this creature, make a four four. Huh. Interesting. Weird. Yeah. For sure. It's a very like a niche like effect. And here's our first uh mystical archive card. Okay. So all of them will look like that, have that kind of like border mm -hmm. and like that art style. I think they look really nice. Do they always come as like at least uncommon or Yeah, rare? it's uncommon, rare, and mythic are okay. the rarities. Because um, I think Defiant Strike was normally a common in whatever set it was in, but they only have uncommon rares and mythics for Defiant Strike. Ooh, and a foil. Nice. Demigo, Demigoth Woe Eater. Okay. Neat. So that's probably like the signpost uncommon for Wither Bloom, though. That's a decent pack. Yeah. Oh, it didn't even come with any tokens or anything. Okay, cool. Yeah, sometimes you'll get like these. Uh... Oh, yeah, this is um, pre release code that gets you like a free pack or something on Arena. Okay. Um, do you want to separate these? Uh, yeah, you just uh, take the rare out and we'll put the rare. And uncommon and commons separate. So you can just put them there. Okay. And then do you want foils anywhere? Yeah, we can just set the foils like over here and then. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> put those there. Next pack. Yeah, Defiant Strike, it's not like a valuable card, but there's a couple like. EDH decks that will play it um, that care about like targeting things with um, instants and sorceries. Okay. Uh, someone's actually in the chat. We do play. I haven't played in quite a while. Yeah, it's been. I think Ikori was the last set I drafted on Arena, but this set definitely makes me want to update and uh, do some drafts. I don't really play like standard or historic or anything. I uh, mostly play like paper commander. Elemental masterpiece. So this makes two four fours for seven mana, or you can discard it to make a treasure. It's good art. Yeah. Another campus. So this makes the a fractal creature, which is the token for the blue green school. Yeah, right. Yeah. Especially since I doubt many people are playing in person these days. Yeah, I definitely miss going to pre-releases and playing like sealed. It's just like a good time. Reject. This one is actually a powerhouse in limited. A lesson that just exiles a permanent mm, and you can side deck it yeah and you draw a card like this is probably like the one of the best lessons from this set for limited quandrix cultivator wormhole serpent and rushed rebirth choose target creature when that creature dies this turn 
Search your library for a creature card with a lesser mana value and put it onto the battlefield tapped. Shuffle. Okay, it's cool. Just like protection for something. Go get something else. Ooh, Primal Ooh. Command. Nice. First Mythic. This card's another great EDH card. And we got a best token. It's cute. Nice. I don't know if the luck I have will carry over to this. So, like, whenever I do things in games, if I'm doing it for someone else, I usually have way better luck. Yeah. So, like, if I play on someone else's account, I get way better stuff. I open packs for them. Like, we opened some um, Shining Fates, and I got reasonably okay stuff, but every pack I pulled on Adrian's, I got a shiny or, like, a full art. Yeah. It was weird. And we got five of these pre-release kit, pre -release kits we're opening, uh, one from each of the guilds or schools. Um, so we got plenty of stuff to open and look through. <laughs> Rock jocks. Oh, that's not the code. Yeah, I think the code's only in Just the... Um, seated. Yeah, it's in the seated pack because it's specific to the pre-release kits. Okay. Biomathematician. It's nice that I think the quality is coming up on stream a little better than it just displays here. Yeah. I moved it up to uh, 1080. The symbol down there makes me think it's going to be like reverse hollow or something. Oh, yeah. Because we open Pokemon now. The red-blue art for these looks really good. Yeah. Like, I'm definitely a big fan of Is It from Ravnica, so I like the red-blue stuff. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they had legendary uncommons in the set too. Sweet. It's it. wow. Yeah, that's strong. Damn, it's a good uncommon. Sparring regimen. When it enters the battlefield, learn. When you attack, put a plus one plus one counter on target attacking creature and untap it. Right, for a three man chip, and that's not too bad. Strategic planning. Okay, that's a good one. It's a nice, like, role player card. Was that in the sets that we played in person forever ago? I think so. It was in um, Hour of Devastation, I think. Okay. It might have been in another. Uh -oh. Ooh, Foil Lorehold Campus. Swag. And Inkling. Cool. I'm a big fan of tokens, and like lately, like Magic's token game has been on point. Yeah, I got real tired of seeing like seven different versions of Ornith out there. Um, what set was it? It was um oh the Time Spot Remastered made a bunch of tokens for cards that made tokens, but there weren't tokens printed because the cards were from before like physical tokens mm -hmm. were a thing. That sucks. So, like, so things that make, like, a Lanoir elf token. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They actually made, like, a Lanoir elf as, like, a token. God, I remember Lanoir elves. Smart pledge mage. Letter of acceptance. It is Harry Potter. Yeah, like this set. <laughs> it's literally Harry Potter, but in magic form. Spine Karak. Thankfully, we know there's going to be one of those in every pack, so seeing it isn't a huge spoiler. Yeah. Expel. Spirit Dwarf. Interesting name. Yeah, dwarfs make a comeback in this set, which is cool. I like this card because um, you can just like pay X and make an XX. Yeah, because um, the fractal scale, and it's like the only token from one of the schools that actually scale up. And it's not just a set value. Okay. Spell satchel. I love random equipment stuff. Golden ratio. Not necessarily in magic, but in and life. conspiracy theorists. When it attacks, you can pay one, discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Okay. And when you discard one or more non-land cards, exile one of them from your graveyard. If you do, you may cast it this turn. 
It's a good, like, madness card. Yeah. And, ooh, Gift of Estates. If an opponent controls more lands, you can search for three planes, reveal them, put them into your hand. That's a neat card. Like, white doesn't usually get, like, um, a spirit token. White usually doesn't get, like, land ramp so they get like this weird like oh if your opponent has more stuff than you you can do a thing but yeah that's an order order card most people don't play that one they usually play tithe which is a similar effect but it's an instant so you can like play it at the end of someone's turn it also i think only costs one white instead of one in the white Why do so many small cards get menace? I guess it's more useful for them. Uh, yeah, plus if someone grows, so whenever you gain life, it gets a counter. So menace is a nice, like, ability to beat. It's like pseudo-trample almost. Yeah. That's the way I kind of look at it. Yeah, it really is. Um, do you watch the uh, Loading Ready Run pre-release -pre at all? Um, if not, you should go check that out on YouTube. Like, they just do like a small sealed tournament before, like the week before pre-release. Shows off the cards and get to see stuff. And like, Blood Research, Researcher was a house in some of the games. Sorry. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> do whatever. Uh, it's Loading Ready Run is the name of the YouTube channel, uh, and it's the pre-pre-release uh, is what the video is called. Oh, Kelpie. Loading. So it's Loading Ready Run. There's a lot of Exile cards in this set. Yeah. A treasure token? Oh, God. Yeah, they brought treasure back in the set. Yeah, they also do a lot of, like, other magic content, just, like, weekly. Um, so if you like watching magic stuff on YouTube or Twitch, like, they're definitely a good channel to check out. That's cool. Yeah. That's pretty good. Where were these going, tokens? Yeah. Okay. All right, next up, Prismari. Ooh. Academic probation. Oh, nice. It's a nice rare lesson card. Is the rarity of these guaranteed? Yeah, these are, the promos are always a, a rare or mythic. Okay. It's been a long time since I opened it. And then we got the cool die with the Prismari logo on it. That's why. That's also another reason why I got one of each, just because mm -hmm. the dice the dice are different. Yeah. And uh, is there something else in there? Nope. All right, we got seeded pack. So this has red and blue cards in it. I think they all come with like a couple of similar cards. Like they all come with the Pledge Mage, the Apprentice, the Lesson, I think, and a Campus for whatever school. Makes sense. Yeah. So that's the Lesson and then this. I think the Apprentices are uncommon. Which I think that's a neat way of doing it. So you get like the key cards for whatever school you're in during the pre release. Yeah, I'm sure they do most of this for drafting. Ooh, environmental sciences. This one's also pretty neat. Search your library for a basic land, put it into your hand for two mana. Ooh, 
Rutha. Another conspiracy theorist. And that is treasure token. Oh, that looks cool. Oh. And an elemental. Yeah, like the elemental token, like badass. Those aren't one one. Oh, that's a four four one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're all different power and toughness. Uh the red blue ones are four fours, the white black ones are two ones, the red white ones are three twos. The green black ones are one ones, and then the green blue ones are zero zero, but they get counters. Oh, we gotta pack it open nicely. Soiled it. What are you guys looking for? Uh, we're just opening packs of magic. Um. Foil versions of these, cool. the um, alternate art cards, some of them are pretty valuable, like Demonic Tutor to Fairy's Protection. But other than that, just getting the cool art and just throwing packs for the fun of it. I see nothing but ads for the Strixhaven. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> cool. Yeah, Wizards is definitely up there advertising game. Oh, yeah. I didn't see anything except MTG Arena, and I was just <laughs> Strixhaven every other swipe. Cool. Plum the Forbidden. Oh, interesting. So that's good for a token deck? Yeah. Or just in general, because I'm um, green black. Yeah, search algorithms. Ooh, mythic. Create X two ones. If X is six or more, destroy all non creature, non land permanents. Sick. Yeah, that card's also a powerhouse and limited. Obviously, being a mythic, most mythics are yeah. pretty good and limited, but just anything they make X tokens is sweet. It's yeah. Funny art. Yeah, the art on it is. Like top tier. It reminds me of um Toxic. Well, I think the the Heartless from like Kingdom Hearts. It kinda has that kind of feel to me. Oh, I was gonna say the bad guy from Fern Gully. Oh yeah. Ooh Back to back. Approach of the second son. Nice. Do good stuff. That's okay. Yeah, that's probably me goofing and accidentally putting stuff in front when I pulled it out weird. Now, nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, why are there more cards <laughs> behind this? Yeah, there's like a slight chance for the mystical archive card to be foil in these packs. Um, so we may or may not get a foil one. That's why I usually try and open packs, though. It's good to know that it still makes it nice. Yeah. First day of class. Yeah, just the names of these cards. First day of class, study break. There's one that's like a field trip. Professor of Zoomancy. Bear Druid. For sure. Yeah. Ooh, fractal summoning. Hall monitor. It's a monitor lizard. I love it. Zephyr boots. Another wormhole serpent. Flame scroll celebrant. What's the tag on that one? the tag that yeah that's a double face card so it has oh, okay has a backside to it which is revel in silence and then oh, negate and spirit token 
man. Yeah, I love this art for Negate. It's just one of those like quintessential counter spells that gets played like in sideboards in like a bunch of different formats, as well as like Commander. A lot of like blue decks will play it. Oh yeah. I think that one's less of a pun and more just like an oxymoron. It's like honor troll, yeah, right? Unless I'm missing something there. It might be a pun and I'm just missing the the pun. This one just doesn't want to open right. There we go. What a savage. These are funny. <laughs> Nice, got owl. Wow, person. that's a common? I was like, alright, uh, let's make reverberate a common now. Is it gold because this isn't one of the sets? No, it's gold because it's a multicolor card. Right, are you talking about the border? Yeah. Like uh, this section of stuff, because like these are all multicolor, or would you call them dual color? Because um, it's only two elements or lands. It might just be like the specific color, like it's white and red, so it looks more gold. Maybe, because I know they used to do that for multicolor cards. Yeah, but is red and white a set? Yeah, red and white is lore hold. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah, you can see that one's gold. Cool. Why is that other one not gold then? Dude, why are they owl mages? That's awesome. Bird shaman. <clears throat> God, the effects of these are long. Oh yeah, this card's neat. You can have any number of them in your deck, and they deal like... Uh, you can search for them after you cast one. So you can just kind of like chain them together. I don't think it's good, but I think it's like one of those meme cards yeah, that like hard. someone will make a arena deck. Yeah, that's true because it's the hybrid mana symbol, so it's different than like a gold. Like you need both colors. You can do two red or two blue. That's probably why. Yeah. Good call. Ooh, that's interesting. Or did you switch the order again? I did not switch that's the order. That's a rare. Yeah, I have not touched the order of these. Oh, unless... I didn't think the normal booster packs had, like, a specific lesson slot. Because I know in, like, set boosters, which are different than these are draft boosters. So it could just be we hit a rare on the lesson slot? Yeah. Okay. It's interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of cards left. Yeah, because those are uncommon. Yeah, weird. I did not change anything yeah. about this one. Okay, yeah. So I guess the normal draft boosters also have like a specific slot for lesson cards that can also be a rare. Yeah. Like, I knew the set boosters were like that, which are a little bit different in how mm -hmm. they're laid out. Um, but I didn't know the draft boosters were like that, so that's cool. Yeah, that's neat. We got back to back mythics on one pack. Shit. <laughs> and this one, we got multiple goals. <clears throat> Ooh, thrill possibility. Another good, just like, role player card for a lot of, like, EDH decks. Just good, like, card filtering in red. Damn, stacked pack. Yeah, that's what I like about the Mystical Archive cards. There's, like, very few of them that feel like they don't have, like, a home in any format. Because at least a lot of them are at least playable in Commander. They're, like, staple common uncommons. Um, and a lot of the Mythics are, like, just good um, Commander cards. Or, like, Sideboard and, like, Standard if they're 
in standard. I don't know if any of these are in standard. Negate might still be in standard. I don't remember the last set it was printed in, but that's one of those cards that are like, sees like a lot of standard reprints. Mm. Yeah, whenever you see cards, you think about it in multiple formats. I just look at a card and go, oh, oh, Blood of Reach Searcher. First pick. Let's go. Signals. Apparently, we got the Witherbloom pack. All right, there we go. One, two, double strike. Inkling summoning. Torrent Sculptor. And the back side is Flamethrower Sonata. Sorcery. So it can either be a creature or a sorcery. And then we got another Defiant Strike. Womp womp. Oh, and a foil Defiant Strike. <laughs> Let's go. Well, if uh, anyone needs Defiant Strikes, let me know. Yeah. So is that card always with that type of print or like- Yes. We, okay, because we got it in a foil, so I didn't know if that card only came as the alternate art. Yeah, the alternate art cards, I don't think any of them are actually in this set. Yeah, we've, we've pulled three, two regular and one foil. Like our first pack was Defiant Strike. Like, working towards that play set. But yeah, all the uh, Mystical Archive cards are, I believe, all cards that aren't in this set normally. Are we just tossing these? Yeah. Okay. Three. Add cards. Yeah, goof that up. <laughs> well, we got a uh, foil Damagoth Titan. The cards came out weird, but the pack opened well, so I guess we got good stuff. When it attacks a block, sacrifice a creature. But it's an 11-10 for four. That's nuts. Yeah, I think I think someone can get up to shenanigans with that in standard. Holy crap! Yeah, so the order of these is definitely going to be goofed. Yeah, I think the actual rare still might be in the back. Should be. Just we got that extra swamp dog, plant dog. <laughs> A lot of sacrificing creatures. Yeah, that's like green blacks like mechanic in this set is sacrificing stuff because their token gives you gain a life when it dies mm -hmm. so it just makes a bunch of one ones that you sacrifice gain a bit of life get an extra effect for whatever you sack it to okay i kind of wish they just tag these as owl but i get why they do it as bird yeah they they kind of like homogenized a lot of the like animal creature types under like one thing because yeah. there used to be like falcons or like their own creature type mm -hmm. and then they kind of just put that under bird. Yeah, like I really like the colorless like lesson cards because you can just play them in any deck, and they're really like nice utility. Fungus. That's interesting art. Looks yeah. like the eyes glow at some point. Yeah, I think that's a uh, one of the legendary creatures from this set. In the art. Ooh, Draconic Intervention. And I got one more, so it might be a token. Oh, no, it's this thing. I forgot. Ooh, Sign in Blood. Oh, so they made Sign in Blood a rare? Weak. Still a good card. 
and that art is oh, sick. Isn't the um, masterpiece I pulled pretty much the same thing? It only costs one though. Masterpiece you pulled? Yeah, in um, I think I'm on cut. No, Hour of Devastation. No, didn't you pull Thoughtseize, though? Yeah. Yeah, Thoughtseize is different. Thoughtseize, you look at their hand, they discard a card, and you lose two life. Okay, I knew it was lose two life and yeah. black. Okay. It's been a long time since I saw that card. Faux show. All right. Next previous kit. Witherbloom. I think Golgari is, like, one of my favorite color combinations, green-black. I've played a lot of green black commander decks. Ooh, I like the symbol on that. Hmm. Prom. Do you get a mythic? Oh. Are you ready? Burp, 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 burp. Wow. We did it. That's got to be worth a lot. It's not like a lot a lot, but it's definitely like the money card in this set. Yeah, but it's also tagged with the promo. Promo actually does not necessarily mean it. Co it's more. Usually like the day stamp promos are as much as a normal foil. Mm -hmm. um, in some cases are more, some cases are less. Weird. Yeah, for sure. Um, so then we have the uh, seeded pack from the pre-release kit. Maybe this will be another Professor Onyx. Oh, by the way, it's it's Liliana. Yeah, yeah, I saw the tag on it. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't say the name in the top part. Well, it's because she's not like Liliana mm -hmm. in the set, but she's still like a Liliana Planeswalker. Right. Because um, she came to like Strixhaven to get away after what happened in War of the Spark because Gideon kind of like off himself to save her. Mm -hmm. So she's kind of like guilty about it, trying to start a new life, teach kids, you know, right from wrong. And, uh, s spoilers, uh, she runs into another demon. Can't get away from him if you care about the, uh, story. I think that part of the story's already, like, been spoiled in, like, this set. Because there's a card that literally has, like, a demon from underneath the school oh. that, like, Will and Rowan have to go fight. Is that their Quidditch? Yeah, there's like... Um, they have their own version of like wizard football. Mm -hmm. There's actually a card that is like the stadium. It's a, a land card. Yeah. It might be an artifact. I think it's an artifact. Ooh, Wither Bloom Command. I think this is one of the better commands from this set. So you choose two from a uh, target player, Mills 3, then return a land card from your graveyard to your hand. Destroy target non creature, non land permanent with value two or less. Target creature gets minus three, minus one, and target opponent loses two life, you gain two life. Like, that's pretty good. Yeah, for two. And Fractal and Inkling Token. I apologize if you are like a big story person and didn't know that. Um, didn't mean to like spoil anything, but it's it's like the main plot of the story. Oh shit! I don't know like any more details on that. I just know like what the card like art has like depicted. I think there's a good hollow in here. Oh, let's go. Alex, I'm just going to let you open the rest of the packs. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, I think it's another one of these hollows. Study break. Some big tusks. Holy crap. 
How do you eat with that? <laughs> oh, here we we're, we're, we're getting there. Yeah, that's okay, the yeah. soul steeper. She's making tea out of herself. Oof. That's gotta taste weird. I mean, she's a plant. I know she's a dryad druid eating yourself. Oh, this card, I think, is actually gonna like go way up for like com uh, commander. Nice, because um, it. You get to copy an instant or sorcery unless they pay two when they cast it. So any like counter spell, you just get to counter spell their counter spell unless they pay an additional two. That's dumb. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we have good stuff in here, so I'm gonna pull this out this way to look at it. Oh, it's double sided. Yeah. Nice. The front side is good enough by itself. I don't think the back side's like Yeah, like anything to shake a stick at. Yeah, it's too useful for the opponent. Yeah. But I guess if you need it. But yeah, that card. Sweet. Right. Oh, village rates. Yeah, that's not terrible. And I think there's one after this. Ooh. Yeah. <gasps> Eliminate. Not one of the like best ones. Mm -hmm. That's probably one that's like I think has like least applications in other formats, because not like people don't run like that conditional of removal, like single target removal and commander. Mm -hmm. Although this one I think might be still in standard. So, yeah. But still, another foil. Yeah, dude. It's two more than I thought we'd get. Treasure. Hell you. Yeah. yeah, like any amount of those foil is sweet. Because I think they'll hold their value. Mm -hmm. um, even though, like, you get one per pack, I think, like, over time they'll still be worth, like, not, like, an astronomical amount, but, like, you'll still get, like, your money's worth out of them. What do these pre-release kits cost? Uh, twenty two fifty is what they cost. Interesting. Okay. Um... Because it's usually 25 for a pre-release, so it's like 20 for the kit and then like a $5 entry. Yeah. Are you limited to the number you can pre-order? Um, typically, it's like um, when you go sign up for a pre-release, you get one and you play with the cards you open out of your kit. Mm -hmm. But since they're not doing pre-releases, they just have the kits... So they're just selling the kits to people. Um, I think you can just buy any number of them as long as um, the store has them in stock. Okay. Like, I'm sure each store is different of, like, what they sell. Because mm -hmm. you went to the one in Winchester, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if they do this in the future, I might be interested in going in on it with you. For sure. And... Oh, Biblioplex. This is also um, a really great uh, land card. Look at the top card of your library. If it's instant or sorcery, you may reveal it and put it into your hand. If you don't put that card into your hand, you may put it into your graveyard. Activate this only if you have exactly, two, exactly zero or seven cards in hand. And infuriate. Combat trick. Not too bad. Ooh, and another foil, Adventurous Impulse. Again, not a great one, but we'll take it. Yeah. We just gotta get one Mythic foil. Right. That's the that's the interesting thing about pre-release kits is they don't follow the normal distribution of like a booster box. Right. So you can get like just insane stuff out of like the pre-release kits like every pack has like a foil mythic mm -hmm. or you're not going to get that out of a normal booster box yeah is 
it's nice that they don't always follow like traditional rules and stuff like letting orcs have wizards instead of just shamans yeah but I know a lot of people are getting pissed at Wizards of the Coast for not having that so that might be why they're doing it more often yeah I mean it's it's a fantasy world anyone can be what they want to be yeah like you can be a bird wizard Or an elk dog tree. We'll just see if we can get one where all of these tags are gold. <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah. That's actually a really sweet uh, legendary. Nice. Basically, whenever a creature you control dies, you exile it and make mm -hmm. a token that's a copy of it. Except it's a spirit, and it buffs spirits. Yeah, it goes really well with this one. Yeah. Okay, cool. Shock. Oh. Decent. Doggo. So many good boys in this set. Yeah, Professor's warning. She's like, Will, Rowan, don't F with the demons. And what do they go do? They F with the demons. Ooh, scry to draw a card. Nice. Explosive welcome. Ha! Yeah. Selfless Glyph Weaver. Okay, so it's like another Selfless Spirit kind of card. You can exile it to give your creatures indestructible. Or, choose a creature Planeswalker. Destroy all other creatures and Planeswalkers. Oh, that's kind of dope. It's eight mana. Yeah, I was going to wonder why it was so expensive. Well, that's cool. It's a very uh, versatile card. And... <gasps> Another negate. Working on that playset. And an elemental token. Do, do, do. Here. Cram all those in a box. Oh yeah, true. <coughs> Bird. Bird. Cube in my Mitgo, it's more likely than you think. Oh, they call them Owlins. That's not a Warlock. Yeah, Warlock's a new creature type hmm. they added, which is interesting. Wow, that's strong. Yeah, Ward is. They finally gave it a keyword ability. Because there's been creatures in the past. Notably, Frost Titan was the one that had that ability. You have to pay to to target it or anything mm -hmm. that targets countered. Uh, but they turned it into a keyword and gave it like different costs. Like that one's three life, some is just two generic mana. Yeah. I like that though. Yeah. For sure. I like owls a lot. Definitely one of my favorite birds. All right, let's see if we can hit all golds. Okay. 
bookworm. Interesting. I'd say that's really good if you're going to run out of cards. Yeah. If your game just goes that long. Interesting art. Oh, Conspiracy God. theorists. Oh. Ooh, duress. Another good, like, sideboard card. That always sees, like, ooh, foil rare. Discard any number of cards and then draw that many. Then if there are seven or more cards in your graveyard, create a 3-2. Huh. Okay. Good pack. Yeah. Yeah, Duress is one another one of those cards that show up a lot in Standard as like kind of like a Floodgate card. I don't know what stack you want that in. <laughs> uh, I'll just put them with the rares. Uh -oh, one of these. Uh, yeah, those are kind of like commons or tokens. It's fine. Oh my good. It's all good. They they go in the same pile anyways. Oh, okay. All right. Next up, lore hold. Show the stacks. The stacks of cards we pulled. So like this is all the rares and foils. And this is the um, Mystical Archive cards. I kind of just put all the commons and uncommons together and just uh, threw them in a box. My apologies. Running out of room on my smaller Ooh. desk. Really? That's bright. Nice, like, lore hold dice. I like these. I like the sets where they do, like, nice... So, remember that card I was telling you about that was really nice for Commander? Mm -hmm. Bada bing, bada boom. Sweet. Heck yeah. Let's go. There we go. Nice shiny boy. Hold um, seated pack. I'm trying to think of like what I would want the rare in here to be that's like red or white. Not conspiracy theorist. <laughs> uh, if this is conspiracy <laughs> theorist. Now, if it's a lore hold command, that one's a really good one. Spirit summoning. Cleric. Spirit Dog. Minotaur Shaman. Interesting. Hall Monitor. Ha! Called it! Or hold command. Let's go. Make a 3 2. Uh, creatures get plus 1 plus 0. Oh, indestructible in haste. Deals 3 damage to any target and you gain through your life. Or sacrifice a permanent and draw two cards. Really good. And some tokens. Me. Yeah, I think Lore Hole Command and Wither Bloom Command are like the two best commands. They're from the same cycle as, well, not the same cycle, but same type of card as um, that first Mythic you pulled. That feels like the yeah. finalities. Yeah, Primal Command. Mm -hmm. This is what the original ones were. Um, they were from Lorwyn, I believe. There was one for each color. Uh, the most notable one is Cryptic Command, which is like three blue, one like counter, counter target spell, draw a card, tap all creatures, target player controls, or bounce a permanent. Alright, I know I open these stupid, but it has good results sometimes. Yeah. It's even like 
Worst case scenario, Laurel Command is a 4-3 indestructible haste for 5, which seems okay. Got another one of these packs. <laughs> is there a thing that makes them put the symbol on there? Um, if it's like specific to the college. Okay. So like that one is specifically, I believe, Prismari, I think is that symbol or that's yeah, that's the Prismari symbol. Mm -hmm. So if it's like specifically like a Prismari card, they put the symbol on it. Okay. Yeah, it's easier it's easier to do tell with like the multicolor cards because yeah. it's the two colors, but some of the monocolor cards are like specific to that or mm -hmm. like themed towards that college, so they put the watermark on it. Yeah. Ooh, the Phoenix from this set. They have so many. Most of it's reminder text. Yeah. As long as in your graveyard, if you would learn, you may instead return it to the battlefield. Okay. And when you... When it enters, you... If you've cast if it, it. Yeah. Okay, so just the first time. Yeah. Ooh, claim the firstborn. Wow. Foil Campus. Okay. Yeah, not an amazing uh, archive card, but has its uses. That one I think is still in standard because I think it is from Throne of Eldraine. And I think Throne of Eldraine is still in standard. It's like almost rotated out. I think this is the best pledge mage because it just grows whenever you cast an instant or sorcery like nutty merfolk seem good in most sets i just don't like the theme that much yeah okay yeah so uh play all of your mystical archive claim the firstborns while you can Heated debate. Ooh, elite spellbinder. Look at target opponent's hand. You may exile a non-land card from it. For as long as that card remains exiled, its owner may play it. Spell. Okay, so it makes it cost two more. Interesting. And oh, time warp. That is one of the better ones. Let's go. And a token. But yeah, that and that time warp art. Sick. Commander playable for sure. There was a deck in Modern called Taking Turns that just played all the extra turn spells. I don't know if that's still a deck or if, like... I'm sure it's still a deck, like a rogue deck, but it plays that card. Is that the first Mythic one of those we got? No, I think it's the second or third, because... I thought we got at least one more. Yeah. Um, cause Approach of the Second Sons was Mythic, and I believe Primal Command was Mythic. So that's okay. three Mythic, uh, Mystical Archive cards.
Ooh, Plarg, Dean of Chaos. Reveal, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-legendary non-land card with CMC three or less. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Put all other cards revealed this way on the bottom. Huh. The random order thing's interesting. I'm gonna see if this does anything. Yeah, that's not like super relevant, but it's an interesting effect. Five mana go digging for something three or less. Might have combo potential. Another eliminate. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, the other side is Augusta, Dean of Order. Other tap creatures you control get plus one plus O. Oh. Other untapped creatures you control get plus O oh, plus one. Whenever you attack, untap each creature you control, then tap any number of creatures you control. Interesting. Weird combat math. Does that get you the tap effects off them? No, because those you have to use the tap effect. Yeah. Unless something says when this becomes tapped. Mm -hmm. That's just weird text. I don't know why you would tap. Because it of them. it lets you choose what creatures you control get plus one and plus o, oh, and which creatures get plus o oh, plus one. Because if they're tapped, they oh, get one yeah. thing. If they're untapped, you get another. I just didn't read the first part of that card. Yeah. Interesting card for sure. I think, I think all the double sided cards from the set give you like interesting choices to make. Sloth, big old slothly boy. Yeah, I feel like we've seen most of the commons at this point. I like this card. You can double its power and toughness on a turn for five mana. I'm actually working on a commander deck that is all about doubling things powers and that card gets in for sure This is the Wizard Stadium. Yeah. It's interesting because uh, it's like an alternate win condition. If you get 10 counters on it, mm -hmm. you get counters for tapping for mana as well as dealing damage. But it loses counters when you're dealt damage. Interesting. And another Infuriate. So is that per instance of damage or is yeah that... it's whenever a creature so whenever if you attack with two creatures mm -hmm. and they both deal damage it gets two counters nice like i think it it matters more for commander where you're at 40 life because i think by the time like you deal enough damage to actually win with it you've won and like yeah. standard would that be the same with like a it's been so long are they poison counters yeah except it's 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 same concept yeah. like you get x counters you win or they lose but the counters themselves go on the artifact that's cool yeah. Big play. I get it. It's a pun because he's big. <laughs> it feels like there's a lot of new commons in this one. Nice. Oh, another rare lesson. I think we got that as like a normal rare in one of our packs. 
Yeah. Can we see the all rares? No. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. It's cool. And, ooh, where's his rage? It's a nice big burn spell. Can we get a foil? Yes. Oh, nice. Nice common foil lesson. Damn kicker. Yeah, dude. for sure. That was a pretty loaded pack. Oh yeah, where are you putting these in the disc? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, she's not too bad. Like, she definitely just grows by herself and can double. Alright. Last pre-release kit. Quandrix. Bunch of math nerds. Alright, can we... Can we get another good, uh, <laughs> like our, our, uh, promo, promo foils have been like on point. You hyped it up too much. I haven't looked at it. What is it? Okay. It's, it's the land. Not bad. Can we... Right there. You may reveal an island or mountain. If you don't, it comes into play tapped as it comes in. Okay. So there was a cycle of these in Eldritch Moon, or Shadows over Innistrad, um, and these complete the cycle. Because um, these are the five enemy color ones, and those were the five allied color ones. So not, not a bad uh, thing. Focus. There we go. Boo -doo 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 -doo. I think Quandrix is like my second favorite from this set. Purely from like a gameplay standpoint, like I love just like their commons and uncommons. I haven't seen too many counters in here, but I also haven't been reading every card. Yeah, there there's a couple. Divide by zero. Tempted by the Auric. For each opponent, gain control up to one target creature or planeswalker that player controls with mana value three or less. Interesting. And some tokens. <clears throat> Toss pack feels solid. I got a, a weird semi prophetic thing. Weird. <laughs> Square up. Yeah, now you just need to call for the demonic tutor foil. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I knew what the card looked like. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, there's like mage hunters in this too. Mm -hmm. I guess were there like mage hunters in Harry Potter? Or is that what the Dementors were? No, it was 
they have a specific squad of like police people that are called aurors and they hunt bad mages. Okay. Or bad wizards. Yeah, these ones don't these ones don't discriminate. They they just kill all mages. This is another powerhouse common. Weird. Like really good in the uh green blue deck. Or even like red blue. Just anything that casts a lot of spells. Of course, I'm pretty sure like every color in this set casts a lot of spells because it's wizards. Yeah. Ooh, vanishing verse. Exile target mono colored permanent. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Infuriate. Put a lot of those. Almost have a place out of that one too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> treasure treasure oh, I put that in the wrong you're good I didn't realize you moved everything yeah yeah if I were to want one more like mystical archive card it would be either demonic to or to perish protection I think those are like the two best ones. So here's hoping. Campus guide. Just a little golem. Cram session. That's funny. Plant dog. Eager first year. Academic dispute. Another one of these weirdos that has a lot of text. And <gasps> agonizing remorse. Target player reels as their hand. She's a non land card. Is a non land card from mate or a card from the graveyard exile that you lose one life. Okay, not too bad. And token. I don't think that one sees a whole lot of play. Of course, I don't know if that one's in standard now or not. I don't remember the last time it was printed. Sweet, they give you the draft archetypes. So we got flyers and plus one plus one counters for Silver Quill, treasure and devastating spells for Prismari, life gain and sacrifice for Witherbloom, spirits and the graveyard for Lorehold, and <laughs> more lands <laughs> equals massive creatures. What a weird text. All right. I think I dropped frames there. Is Demonic Tutor a mythic? Yeah. Oh, no. So is Teferi's Protection. We're going to shoot for that one. It's cool art. How is it not also a bird? <laughs> Oof. Phoenix again. Oh, grow spiral. Okay. That one's pretty sweet. Alright. Like I'll take a grow spiral. Two packs left. Ooh. Blood researcher. 
That looks like Hella from Thor Ragnarok. Can't tell if that's her hair or if she has a like shroud on or something. And cleric again. Hmm. Ooh, we got the uh, Quandrix. So each one of the schools is named after the elder dragon. So okay. this is Quandrix, who Quandrix is named after. Hmm. Uh, enters the battlefield double the number of counters, plus one, plus one counters on target creature you control. And then when it attacks, you may have the base power and toughness of. Other creatures you control become equal to his. Pretty good. Not like the best Elder Dragon, but still really good. And revitalize. Came through life, draw a card. All right. All right. It's all up to you. Demonic Tutor or Bust. Well, you pulled a Mythic, so I don't have to pull anything now. I'll try to open the pack well. Oh yeah, and we got Quandrix in the Quandrix pack. So we are doubly on theme. Like, if that was a pre-release kit, I'm definitely looking to go 5-0 with that pre-release. Cram. He's nuts. <laughs> Got him. the one that choose one creature just or planeswalker destroy the rest for eight mana yeah all right slow roll of the century nope <laughs> shock oofsky all right not bad still pretty good yeah so yeah, no problem. Um, so, we got Shock, Revitalize, Growth Spiral, uh, Agonizing Remorse, Infuriate, Urza's Rage, Infuriate, Eliminate, Time Warp, Claim the Firstborn, Regress, negate, shock, foil, adventurous impulse. That's pretty sweet. Infuriate, foil, eliminate, village rights, sign in blood, defiant strike. Defiant Strike. Defiant Strike, but in foil. Thrill Possibility. Negate. Approach of the Second Sun. That one was pretty spicy. Snakeskin Veil. Gift of Estates. Strategic Planning. And probably like my personal favorite out of the ones we've pulled Primal Command. I think I've played, played Primal Command the most out of any of the, those cards. And just a quick rundown of the rares. Foil. Foil. 
foil. Stadium. Plarg. pre-release promo put that over to the side oh that guy's not full of these are oh. <sighs> somehow got mixed in with my rares that's probably my fault <laughs> I am not known for keeping things well organized witherbloom command Blight out the sky. Cool mythic. Like our seventh conspiracy theorist. I think we got three. three. Yeah. That doesn't feel that bad. I was being hyperbolic, but. Yeah. It just got them close together. And another one of these dudes. You want to show the uh, other? Yeah. Yeah. And then rounding out our pre-release promos, obviously we have this guy. Focus. Sari. We got uh, academic probation. Oh, that's right. We got this as our yeah. promo. Frost boil snarl. Wandering Archaic. And probably our best pool. Promo Professor Onyx. Like, Magecraft, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, each opponent loses two life, you gain two life. Just as a static ability. Yeah, thanks for checking out the stream. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Great for hanging out. Definitely enjoyed your company. Uh, we will be back sometime in a couple weeks with a set booster box. Um, so if you happen to be on and catch us, stop in. We'd love to talk to you again. Yeah. And otherwise, we normally just open Pokemon cards. So not sure if we'll have Pokemon or that for the next opening. But I hope it's be between those two. All right. Um... I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for bringing over cards for us to open. Yeah, for sure. I uh, figured, you know, I haven't opened some packs in, like, a good, like, year or two. So mm -hmm. I was like, this set's awesome, so I just want to crack some stuff. Yeah. Was this the same one? No, because it's a pre-release. I was thinking about the collector packs you were talking uh, about. Yeah. I wanted to get a collector's box, but, God, they're expensive. Mm -hmm. You get, like, a lot out of them, but, like, it's 12 packs. Mm-hmm. Um, and each pack has three of the Mystical Archive cards. Oh, wow. But they, like, come in, like, f etched foil. Mm -hmm. So it's worth the money, but it's not worth the money yeah. at the same time. How much is it? It's, like, 240 for like for 12 packs. But, you, like, the packs are, like, stacked. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right. We will see you next time. Again, not sure if it'll be Pokemon or Magic. Magic next time. Actually, swap over to face cam. That's it. Goodbye.